In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can store content in your Rails project that doesn't go inside your database. So one of the things that we want to configure here is our navigation menu. So I'm looping over this navlinks.h here and we have uh, navlinks have a title and a path and in the code they will display here. Um, but we don't have any at the moment. So in application controller, our navlinks helper is just returning an empty array. Now we could load these up from the database. Although whenever you want to deploy this to different environments, you'd need to sync all of that up. So I think a nice way of doing it is just to have these configurable in the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file here. We'll create this file under the data folder and we'll call it nav underscore links dot yaml. And I'm just gonna paste in uh, what I want my navigation links to be. So we've got the home page, lessons page, and a blog page that goes to slash posts. Now we've got a nav link class and what we're gonna to want to do here is inherit from struct.new and we need a title, we need a path, and we wanna pass the keyword init param as true. And we'll see if that. The next thing we need to do is create a method. So we're gonna call this self.all and this is gonna return all of our nav links. So we're going to call it yaml.load file and we're gonna say reels.root dot join and then we'll join data and navlinks.yaml like that. Next we're going to map over this and so we're going to say dot map and we're going to pass with indifferent access so that these can be accessed as symbols or strings or any of that and then we're going to pass dot map and then we're going to say link data and then we're going to call new and we're just going to pass in our link data as keyword arguments like this and so this should do the trick so now if we go to our application controller and replace this empty array with navlink.all hit save um, hopefully we'll get some nav links and we do so that's just a simple way you can store configuration in amongst your code um, and have it easily editable and shared across other files or anything like that so I hope that helps.